Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video with me, Elven Dragon. So, last episode we went and finished off our underwater area here, and I absolutely love how this has turned out. I love our little kind of tree there in the middle, but today it's time we leave our little watery paradise here and get back to work on some stuff on the fairy forest island. Because as you see, we have gotten quite a bit of the plants grown up around here. See, we've got a whole bunch of the mushrooms, the flowers all set in. We've got all the little undergrowth going all through here. In fact, we've managed to grow up most of this on most of the island here, at least the main part of it anyway. But we haven't really tackled anything on the peninsula. So I think it's about time we went and gave that a little bit of attention. We've got the bridge going out to it right over there, but as you can see, we haven't spread the biome over there at all, and it's kind of barren. So I think about time we get the last little bits of stuff cleaned up around here, and then we can start to look at really what we have to work with. All right, and with everything except for our crafting table here cleared off, it's time for us to get to work on planning a few things out. Now, I'm not quite entirely sure what we need to put on here, but we definitely need something on this little area of land. Could just cover it with forest, but this is still quite a big area to have nothing. And we did bring the path kind of all the way out here anyway, just because it kind of made sense just to wrap it around here and bridge over to connect this area a bit more. So what I'm thinking I want to do is I've got three different blocks here. We've got wool for our paths. We've got stone bricks for maybe some shrines or something. Maybe we'll put one right around here. Just a small little thing. So we'll have to have the path go around here. Maybe we'll bring it instead a little bit better closer to the water. This. So that'll just go up and around. Don't necessarily want it too close because I still want to be able to put some trees along the side. So let's move this in a block or so. Yeah, something like that. And the prismarine here is for what I think is going to end up being a bit of a lake. Now I don't quite know how big I want this. I think I want this on this part of the island here. And we'll just have it go and around. Maybe we'll bring the pathway up and around with it as well. Just to have that wrap around. I don't necessarily want it too close. I do want to put some trees here too. But I think that should do well for a rough outline. And we'll bring the path over here a bit. Up and around. And we'll just close everything off right over here where it starts to narrow. Probably need something over there too, but let's take a look at how this rough outline here looks once we get this all marked out. I want to keep the lake kind of close to the path, but not really in some places, so we can put some trees in here. So maybe something like that for a shape. I don't have any scaffolding, so this might be hard. All right, there we go. Now we can get a good view of how this is going to look. I kind of like that. The pathway there looks pretty good going all the way around. And that end area there looks pretty bland. And so does the lake. So maybe what we could do is in the middle of the lake here or so, like maybe about here-ish, put small little shrine here. Maybe we'll put some alays around there too. And we'll just make that into a small little island. May move. Might be a little close to the shore on this side. But we'll just keep that in the middle of the lake there. And I think that'll look good. Now, this area here, this is actually a bigger area than I thought it was. The flatness is kind of deceiving. So maybe what we will do is we'll take our lake here. And let's get this brought all the way up here build maybe a small little hill or something and just add a little bit of height to this area bring this all the way up here 
and finish this off with a small little pond. Now, naturally, if we're going to do a small little pond, we should probably have a path leading up here to a small little grove. Oh, yeah, maybe we'll do like a gazebo or maybe another shrine. Would make sense just to put another small little LA shrine here. Just something like that, I think. This is big enough we can probably do this like that. And this will just wind down. Maybe we'll wrap it around and just wind down the kind of little hill here all the way back to the path. But with that marked out, it looks like we've got a bit of digging to do. So I'm going to get started on the lake here. Still not quite sure on the river. This is just a rough little path that I've just kind of marked out here. It may change. I have to see how I want to do this part here with the hill. I am liking the idea of a river tumbling down a hill with the path running along the side, maybe kind of built into it. But I think for now, we'll focus on the lake and see how that turns out. So, looks like I've got a bit of digging to do. All right, and there we go. We now have the lake bed fully dug out. I haven't changed it from the stone and mycelium yet. But I think the overall shape looks pretty good. We did move the island over a few blocks. And this is kind of just what I threw together for the little shrine that I want to put on this island. I think it'll add a little bit more detail work. And I think it looks kind of nice just having a little shrine just sitting there on the island. As you can see, we don't quite have the path fully marked out here. And we don't have anything over here yet. So, I guess the next thing to do would be to get this path in and figure out how we're going to be doing the hill or mountain on this part of the island. So, I'm going to get working on that and then I'll be right back. And there we go. The path around the lake is in, or at least marked out in path blocks because I'm out of most of the blocks we need for it. But we did manage to also get the hill here built up. I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Now we just need to get the river dug up from the lake and going all the way up there and wind the path up here. But I decided it might be fun to have a kind of secret little cave in here. It doesn't really go very far right now, but I've got some ideas for what we could do with it. You know what? Hey, Puck. Hi. Yes, hi. Can you go stand by the geodes for a bit? Take my Silk Touch pickaxe here and go get a few different sizes of the crystals. We're going to need a few of them. Are you waiting for those to grow? Do you mind grabbing some glow lichen from the redstone pit and getting a bit of that too? Should be plenty of iron over there to make some shears and bone meal. All right, thanks. All right, so with Puck off getting what we need for that, we have a river to carve and a path to build. Now for the river bottom, I'm thinking a mix of cobblestone, raw iron, and prismarine. Basically going to do the same thing for the lake bottom here as well, except that's also going to include some raw iron blocks in there, which I think will look really nice and will help set this apart from the river. So I guess I'm going to go get that riverbed dug out. And only thing I know is I do want it to go down over here. So I got to figure out how I'm going to do that with the waterfall. Because I want the path to branch off right over here so we can just have the cave kind of hidden behind the waterfall. I think will look really, really nice. So I'm going to go figure out how the rest of that river is supposed to go, and how it's going to connect into the lake, and how it's going to leave the top of this hill. And then I'll be back once it's ready to be filled with water. And there we go. We now have the entire lake bed and river in. I tried doing both with the cobbled iron, but said I didn't like it and instead decided to go with mossy cobble for the river and just mix that in here, which I think this looks good. I do like the iron in the lake bed. I think it adds quite a bit of extra color to this and makes it look like there's more different types of rocks in here. And I like the much more simpleness of the rivers. Really hard to get a good mix with these four blocks. 
with just a two by two section, but I think with the three, it works quite a bit better. Now, we also managed to get the path up all the way up and around. And as you can see, we've got another little bridge we need to put in here. I'm thinking that's just gonna be a couple slabs just like that. Do jungle because it kind of matches with the path. And it just goes up and around here to a nice little loop right by this small little pond. But with that, we do need to get the water in. And for that, we're going to start with the bottom. We do need another bridge here, which we'll probably just do another plank bridge. We might add in some campfires as well. Depends on whether or not I decide to go grab some of those from the villagers or not. But we need to start filling this in. And for that, we kind of need to start at the bottom, mostly because that'll just make it easier to go and fill everything up, make sure everything is fully filled in. And we just need to go from there. So I'm going to go get all of this filled in here and then I'll be right back. And there we go. The lake is now completely full of water and so is the riverbed. And as you can see, we've managed to spread the biome over most of the peninsula. The waterfall here is not as nice as I would have hoped, but I think that's mostly just because of my clear water pack. I have although looking out from here that is really nice I have to add some stairs in there to make it a little more rugged but other than that and the fact that the cave is very much not done I am quite happy with how this turned out now I haven't put any sea grass and stuff into the pond or the lakes which we probably need to do I probably have some floating around here somewhere probably over at the underwater village we might go and add in a few lily pads if I can find some in one of my storage chests somewhere. But for now, I think that'll be good. This area is coming along really nicely. I'm really glad that we got in so much of this done. Lake I love, even without any of the plants in here. I think this looks really, really nice just in here. You kind of wish we could have done a little bit more fancy bridge across here, but with the fact that this is just a little two block gap and it is also diagonal, I don't think we really can. We might put some of the hardened mud posts with the mangrove trapdoors and the lava on the sides there, but I think that might be a bit too much. I'm not quite sure. And besides, it really wouldn't look too great with the fact that this is again a diagonal bridge but i think that with that i'm gonna go search my sword chest for some lily pads i might have some i actually don't know i don't might not actually have any but i've got those to go check buck is off busy gathering up some more of that amethyst checked in on him earlier it looks like he's got about half a stack of each so that is good but with that, I think that that is going to be it for today. So I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing if you want to see more of what is going on on this island and in the rest of this world. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.